So back in the spring, I had some new tosai, which I measured the growth of. Uh, and um, they've been in the main pond now for a number of months. It's September. And so I'm now going to look at and see how much they've grown over a season's worth of growth in the main pond uh, on a, uh, a diet of um, high protein growth food. So here are the fish back in May and uh, they're in warm water so they're quite active. Um, I bought them from different breeders uh, and they were all different sizes as well but I put them in the um, quarantine tank heated and uh, measured their growth and that was on my other video. This is them now in September. They've been in the pond for about three months and in the quarantine tank for one month uh, at the start. Uh, and they're growing quite a lot. So the Tancho is growing from 13 to 20 centimetres. The Shira Itsuri has grown from 16 to 20, which actually um, is a relatively slow rate of growth. Uh, the Kahaku has grown uh, about uh, 12 centimetres from 18 to 30. And then the Kajaku, uh, I couldn't actually fit in the bucket with the uh, other ones. I wanted to do it in the same size bucket so you could see the comparison. That grew uh, from 22 to 33 centimetres. Um, so uh, uh, there's quite a range there across the different fish. And they've all had the same conditions and the same feed. Um, so the conclusion is we can see growth of between 1 centimetre and 3 centimetres per month in the summer months. Uh, my pond is a bit shaded uh, and it's not heated, uh, so it doesn't get as hot as some ponds do. Uh, but I think that's fairly representative of the sort of growth that an average pond might see in the summer months. I hope that's been useful. I look forward to the next video.